Whoa. So I guess I'll keep this when it popped out. The Emperor. This Emperor energy is somebody that um, typically has control over a lot of people. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be you. It could be you. You could be somebody that, you know, has control over your own energy. You know, just someone that's in the midst of building your own empire. You could be a father. You could be someone that's older. But what I'm getting is whoever this person is, they wanted to have some type of control over you. This could have been your father. It could have been a baby father. Or just could have been somebody that was over you. You could have worked for this person. Um, they wanted to have control over you to, like, dominate you. Ace of Cups is here. This is somebody that was in love. Um, they could have been in love with you. Or um, they could have been in love with somebody that you knew. Could have been in love with the same person that you were in love with. Ace of Cups. They wanted to have control over you because they knew that you were in love with somebody that they were in love with too. Yeah, Nine of Swords is here. They knew that you were keeping it in your head. This person had been all in your thoughts. They have been getting readings on you. And they wanted to keep you in your head in a mental prison, trying to figure the situation out. Whoever this older person is, you could have worked for this person. And they knew that you were in love with somebody and they were in love with this person too. They want to keep you stressed out or they're trying to keep you in your head about something. Yeah, Six of Cups is here. These are events that took place in the past. This person knew. Yeah. This person knew that this was somebody that you uh, were connected with in a past life. And this person um, gave you some type of advice to go back to somebody or deal with somebody that you were dealing with in a past relationship or something like that. So you went back into the past and now you're in your head at a mental prison. This person gave you some bad advice because they were in love with the same person that you were in love with. Yeah, the death card is here. They did something to try to um, put an end to you being in love with that person. Because they're in love with that person. Yeah, Three of Wands is here. They did something to you uh, to put an end to a situation. Or it could have been somebody actually that passed away in the past. And they made a decision. They're sitting back waiting for their ships to come in in some type of way. They knew what decisions you had to make. You did something based off of this person's... You made a decision off of whatever this person had not told you. And um, this person looked at you as somebody that they got control over. And they made you... They wanted you to put an end to a situation. They wanted you to put an end to being in love with this person that you were in love with. You shared a past life connection with this person. Six of Cups is here. They convinced you in some type of way to go back to a dead end situation from a past, from the past, some situation that you were in in the past, and it was just a dead end situation that needed to end. Yeah, Three of Swords is here. They wanted you to be three at the Three of Swords, depressed, heartbroken, going through heartache, going through betrayal, going through depression. Yeah, they wanted you to be at your head in a mental prison trying to figure a situation out. They didn't want you to figure them out, but they wanted you to be in your head stressed out. Yeah, King of Pentacles is here. You could have looked up to this person like a father, whoever this person is. This person could be married with this King of Pentacles. They could be a father. They could be someone that nurtures their family or gives to their family. You looked up to this person and their relationship. You didn't know this person was sitting back at the Ace of Cups in love with somebody that you were in love with and trying to sit up in your Emperor energy. Trying to sit up in your energy and have control over you. Yeah, they wanted you to be at the Two of Pentacles, juggling between thoughts and finances, trying to figure this out. They wanted to have you in your head about this situation, just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They could have been playing with something over your uh, thoughts, some type of trickery and manipulation. You, This could have been revealed in a dream in the past and you didn't understand it. Yeah, Empress is here. This person was secretly, whoever you were supposed to be with, with this empress and high priestess, this person is obsessed with that person. This person is somebody that they look at as an empress, someone who can embody every queen in the deck. 
and um they were playing in your energy as you're in this emperor energy but this is somebody that you look up to as a person as a boss they have their own legacy they have built their own empire a lot of people look at them to nurture and give and things of that sort you didn't think that this person would be moving funny you didn't think that this person would um you know do something to you in a sneaky deceptive way with this high priestess you didn't even know this person was obsessed the devil you didn't know this person was somebody that was very toxic you looked at this person as being in a marriage this person was a father this person didn't want you to know that they were obsessed with this person the empress is here they were obsessed with sitting back trying to walk in your energy whoever this king of pentacles is yeah they wanted to keep it hidden that this person was somebody that um was a divine counterpart yeah they could have had some some uh some type of way they got angry and, and spread some type of lies and rumors and gossip that was not true on this person empress high priestess and knight of swords this was all stuff that was hidden they had something to do whatever negative lies and gossip came in quick about this empress energy they had something to do with that. Yeah. They could have wanted to keep it hidden. Whoever, they, I'm getting something different now. Whoever this person is, you could be attached to somebody that's pregnant. This is their baby father. They were in love with um, the same person that you were in love with. But they had somebody else pregnant and they wanted you to think that that was your pregnant. You know, this person was pregnant by you. They would have you in your head at a mental prison. And they would come in at this ace of cups in your energy. To the person that you're in love with. So it's like they wanted to have, try to have you tied down to a person that's pregnant in some type of way. So they came in and spread it. You know, they steered your direction in a whole nother way so you wouldn't be in love with whoever you're in love with. They thought they would throw somebody in your face that was pregnant and um, or throw some type of pregnancy in your face or try to get you pregnant. Something like that. You have to take it where it resonates. And they um, came in and spread it lies, gossip, rumors, and slander on this person that you're in love with. And then it's like they wanted you to be in your head and at the two of pentacles just juggling back and forth with this emperor, this person that's pregnant in some type of way. But this whoever did this came in with the uh, knight of swords, the lion slender, that's this, this pregnant person's uh, real baby father. This could have been somebody that, as I said, that you looked up to or you got advice from. Yeah, knight of pentacles is here. They were trying to slow you down. This could be somebody that's younger than you. A younger brother or this could be um you could be this person's younger brother they could be your younger brother they were trying to slow you down in some type of way to have you take care of some responsibilities that was not yours yes yeah, six of wands is here and then three of cups so it's like this person thought they had some type of victory, you know, over you. And they were celebrating about this at the Three of Cups. You could be still, you could have celebrated with this person. And you didn't know that what you were celebrating with this person for. <laughs> yeah. You have the Two of Swords blinded from the truth to this betrayal. Ten of Swords is here. This person had them backstabbed you with multiple uh, people and pinch you down at the Ten of Swords for harsh, painful endings. And you didn't even know. This is somebody that's very two-faced it. They smile in your face and stabbed you in the back. This is a friend of yours. Somebody or somebody that was close to you like a friend that you kicked it with on the regular. You could have rolled around with this person a lot with the six of wands being here and uh, three of cups. The moon card is here. This was stuff that was hidden, a secret, and you didn't know. Yeah, five of wands is here. This person was somebody that was secretly in competition with you, secretly trying to one up you. Secretly wanted to be you. Secretly, you know, conflict to you. Fights and drama, chaos. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is here. They sent conflict to your family. Ten of Pentacles. 
They could have started a fight amongst family, relatives, chaos. And this was all a secret. Two of Cups is here. All because they knew that you and this person was supposed to partner up and create this Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth. They thought they have you stuck to somebody and you'll be at the Two of Pentacles and they jump into your Ten of Pentacles. They will confuse you and then go into your Empress or to your divine counterpart or whoever you were supposed to partner up with. And they will sit in your Ten of Pentacles and leave you in their Two of Pentacles, juggling between thoughts and finances. Yeah, Page of Cups is here. This person thought they had control over your emotions. They wanted you to be very immature or you weren't, weren't able to express the way you felt. You will be at the Page of Cups with this Two of Cups energy. Look that as somebody that's very immature. You don't know how to express your um, emotions. You're uh, emotionally immature. Yeah, Two of Wands is here. This person wanted you to uh, basically make a some type of decision or, you know, wanted you to sit back and think and be in your head. Should you do this or should you do that? This is somebody that sit back and play on your thoughts, play on your mind. And they think they have some type of control over the way you think. This could be somebody that you sit back and you're going through something. They constantly got some type of resolution and it's not a good resolution. It's just to keep you at this stalemate, two of ones, not knowing which way to go in life, not being able to make a proper decision. And that's it. Yeah, King of Cups is here. It's like this person, you know, they're at this stalemate energy and they they basically, as they wanted to keep you at this stalemate energy and prolong something, you went from the Page of Cups to the uh, King of Cups. It's like whatever love that you have for this person, it grew. And this energy is, is they, they don't get that. Whatever love that you have for this person, it grew. Whatever obsession that they had to try to steal something, like steal your Ten of Pentacles, backstab you, and uh, come to this uh, energy that you were in love with and try to confuse them, it made you your heart chakra open up. It made you more and more in love with this person. It made you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah, Five of Cups is here. That person is sitting back at the Five of Cups in regret, ashamed, embarrassed. This person could not keep their mouth off of this person that you wanted to come towards and partner up with. All because they were obsessed with this person. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles is here. Um, this person is somebody that's just working by their self, minding their business, doing them. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is on a whole new path. This person is on a journey. This is somebody that um, they were working on something and they took a risk. And they just moved towards whatever it is that they wanted out of life. It took a leap of faith towards you know, new ventures in life. You want to walk, you want to go towards this person. It's like whatever this person did behind the scenes, this person that thought they had some type of control over you, it didn't do nothing but make you want to work on the situation with this person that you're in love with. Have a heart to heart conversation with this person. Take a new direction in life towards this person. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You want to commit to this person. You want to start over a whole new, you know, a whole new life with this person. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Wands is here. Now that person is sitting back nervous, feeling guilty. Because whatever they set behind the scenes trying to do out of obsessions, it did not work. And they wanted to keep it hidden.